I've always asked the question of who won between the Witness versus the Nine because they're very similar. Both the Witness and the Nine transcend the universe, both the Witness and the Nine have statements of transcendence, and both the Witness and the Nine look externally from the outside into the universe. So, who wins? Let's start with the Nine, since they have a rather scattered story and not many people know about them. The Nine go as follows. They are these ghost things that exist outside of the universe. They're trying to find a way in it. The reason they're trying to find a way in it is because they want to get their hands on the light and dark. The reason they want to get their hands on the light and dark is because if the solar system dies in any way possible, they die. They're almighty yet very fragile. Within the Nine, there's two factions. You have the Five and the Four. The Four want to get their hands on darkness and have been putting out efforts in doing so by creating black holes in space and manifesting as dark space rapes. The Five have been using Xur and Orin to learn about the Guardians in order to learn about their power. Xur was the first, he was the prototype. The second was the one we know as the Emissary, Orin. You know her because of Trials of the Nine and how we came to see her right after that, which was in Season of the Drifter. Let us play one of the conversations between Orin and the Nine. It will be linked below. like you wouldn't believe. She can leave this place. This place? We can leave this place. Think bigger. She can leave this game. We don't understand. Then I'm afraid it's impossible to explain. Let's talk about a really spooky fact about the Nine. Remember Destiny's Cosmology and how it's divided into thirds with the universe, the Ascendant Plane, and the Ley Lines? Well, there's a plane beyond that called Nine Space. Within Nine Space, the Nine can manifest something within reality from the mere thoughts, and it is as real as the person sitting beside you or in the other room hearing this. Want to hear an even more creepy thing? That's created from the Nine who exist in a plane called the Realm of the Nine, which transcends Nine Space. Because they use Orin to talk to us, and they use Xur as a prototype to try to understand us. We haven't even seen the Nine, truly. So for them to be able to manipulate Nine Space from where they're at, means they're a lot further beyond what we thought they were, originally. They said it themselves, they can see fates. Orin speaks for them when she says that they see fates. They see the timeline, they see the fates. They're beyond the universe in their entirety. First, let's end the debate about the unveiling and whether or not the winner was the witness. There is only two ways to answer what the unveiling is. The first way to explain it is the witness was created using the veil and the veil is what told the witness about the winner who exists beyond the universe so the witness wrote the unveiling as a way to depict the winner the second answer is the witness is trying to become the winner in final shape and it wrote the unveiling as a way to tell us about the winner it wants to become within final shape Whatever the answer is, the winner transcends whatever the witness is at present, and the witness right now is far beyond what he was way back in the collapse. So, there is a lot of room for the witness to become stronger in final shape, It just final shape is going to tell us definitively if it's going to become the winner that it wrote about, or someone told us about the winner, and it might have been the witness. 
and the widower was a real character all along. You've heard me talk about the power of the witness before, but did you know the witness can possibly break the fourth wall? In the unveiling, the witness talks about a philosopher from the 17th century who died of a bowel disease who got the answer right about light and dark. By the way, that was a real philosopher from the 1700s who was a shoemaker. Not convinced? Go and check all the Amkara exotic lore. Every Amkara piece of exotic lore is talking to the player beyond who the main character is in the game. Still not convinced? Go and reread Hidden Dossier. Ikora Ray talks about Sabathun leaving the game, and she also talks about the Amkara trying to go somewhere more real. Remember Star Horse and Dares of Eternity? Star Horse created the game show for the audience, and the audience exists beyond the universe. There's no way to prove the audience scales to Star Horse, so there's no way to prove the audience scales to the witness. But why is that? Let's compare the two. The witness is an entity who is an entire race of beings who came together through a ritual that said race of beings did with the veil. So the witness learned things from the veil that we don't know that it learned, which will be told later in the future. The nine are a race of beings who are in two factions, light and dark, and they've been influencing the story in rather subtle but interesting ways in their time in Destiny's universe. The Witness is older than the Nine because the Witness has been around before the solar system's been around. So the Witness's race has been around far longer than they've been around since before the Witness. So therefore, the Witness does have experience on them. And we'll, and we'll say they're more complex and calculating as an extension of their experience. On the other hand, there's also the matter of Star Horse or Dares of Eternity. And then there's also the fact that there's multiple nine, as in we know there's nine of them, hence the name. So there is also that factor because all the nine are seemingly intangible. So who wins? In my opinion, I think it's the witness. Here's why. Let's make a couple arguments with the veil first so that it doesn't affect the conclusion. Either the witness knows about the nine because of the veil or they learned about the Nine sometime in their lives. If none of which is true, meaning the Witness never learned about the Nine, or never learned about the Nine from the Veil, then we can make another argument then. The Witness is extremely paracausal. Both factions of Nine, the Five and the Four, are trying to become paracausal. So, they lose in the Hacks department against the Witness. So, what about another thing? Is the Witness smarter? In all honesty, I think yes. They've been around longer than the Nine have, and they're paracausal, and they've gotten a lot more powerful ever since the Collapse. We have a lot more information pertaining to the Witness than we do with the Nine. All we know mostly is the origin of the Nine, whereas with the Witness, we at least have demonstrations with it and we're able to accurately gauge its power. And we have multiple eras of the witness we can gauge in power as well. Meaning we can more confidently make statements about the witness and have less confidence making statements about the nine. So this could change at any moment, but right now I think we should all agree that it's probably somewhat close, but I would go with the witness if I was you. Anyway, that's all I really had to say. If you guys want more stuff like this, please let me know, like, share, and sub if you're new, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.